What's up everyone, it's Millie. Welcome back to my channel. Today we have an exciting announcement, which you can already tell by the title of this video. And that is Instagram has officially announced and pushed out you can auto post and publish your reels. Now I was filming another video when I heard this happen and I know this specific video won't come out for a while, maybe a month after the announcement, but I wanted to hop over to my laptop real fast to show you how you can auto post your reels. You could schedule them to post without you needing to be there. You could be sleeping and your reels can post for you. So. This is a feature a lot of people have been waiting for. I'm super excited that they've adapted this. So let me walk over to my office real fast, show you the announcement that Instagram made and show you how you can schedule your reels to auto post. Okay, let's hop over to a quick screen share and I'm gonna show you on my laptop. So this is the article that Meta post on June 27th, talking about how they're going to be introducing Reels APIs to the Instagram platform. Basically they said beginning tomorrow, June 22nd, we will be introducing Reels to several endpoints on the Instagram platform. We are always looking to improve our content publishing and consumption experiences, whether people use Instagram natively or via third party. When we're looking at the timeline, they announced this on June 28th and they said they're going to begin rolling it out all the way up until July 6th. So yes, this announcement was a little bit ago by the time you're seeing this video. If you are unfamiliar, API stands for Application Performing Interface. The reason a lot of third-party tools didn't have this feature was because they never released the API information or the information that those tools needed to be able to sync with Instagram and how Reels is performing. But because Instagram is pushing Reels so hard, they want people to have that capability and access to post and auto post Reels through third-party applications or on Instagram. Since Reels is a top priority, they're like, hey, we want you to use our platform, whether you're using it through our platform or with third party, if it's gonna encourage you to post to Reels, let's release this information and make sure everybody has access to it and make the consumption and the user interface more appealing to a wider range of people. They're also going to be expanding the scope of support of Reels to content publishing, insights, comment moderation, hashtag search, business discovery, mentions, and more. We've recently saw them announce a lot more Reels updates as well. So recently Adam Aseri went to his stories or created a Reel talking about the latest Reels updates. So right now we have Reels video merge. Basically IGTV is no more or even Instagram video is no more any video that you post onto Instagram is going to be a reel now. They also have reels templates. This has been happening for a little bit now. I've seen the feature on my phone. I was kind of in one of those testing things. It's really cool if there's a trend with a trending audio and you want the clips to sync perfectly, you can use a template, upload your videos, and you won't have to like time the audio correctly. It's, it's a pretty cool feature. I've used it and I really like it. And remixes, you can now, like they've already had remixes, but now you can even remix photos in addition to videos. And finally, dual camera. So there's going to be an option to record reels, both with the front and back of your camera. So these are all of the latest updates. Since Instagram released this API to other third-party platforms, there have been a bunch of tools out there that have adapted to the new API where you can now auto post your reels post for you. I said that a bajillion times. But the tool that we're gonna be talking about today and the tool that I'm gonna show you how to use is one that I've talked about a million times on my channel. Me and my team, we use it for everything social media and that's Metricool, who's also the sponsor of this video. Let's hop over to my Metricool account and I'll show you all the things that you need to know. Okay, so Metricool, if you're new to my channel, I love Metricool. My team and I, we use them all the time, especially for studying our Instagram analytics. We love them. It's a place that it's a tool that you could use to analyze, manage, and grow your digital pre presence, everything in one place. So these are all the platforms they have integrations with where you could automate posts basically anywhere and keep your online presence really consistent. Here's an inside look of my page. So I have my Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, Twitter, and YouTube connected. It goes over like page growth, all of your analytics, all the things. Typically what we do is we download monthly reports and as you can see here, previous downloads, the past few months, we download our monthly reports, compare the data so that we can improve the content that we're posting over on my Instagram. Um, but right now what we're going to dive into is the planning. So when you create a Metricool account, it is free. 
you can create it for free. I'll leave everything linked down below. When you create a metrical account, I like month view. Um, you're going to have this planning option. And I, I think since this feature is pretty recent, you'll probably get a pop up here in the bottom right hand corner in the little chat box. It'll look like this. It'll say, Hey, you can auto publish onto Instagram now. So there's a complete guide, which looks like this. And it walks you through how to auto publish or manual publish your reels. So I'll link that down below as well. So yes, you're going to go to planning. You're going to select create a post and up here you'll be able to select what platforms you want to auto post the short form video to. For me, my main platforms, I do reels, TikTok videos, and you could even do YouTube shorts. When you select all three and press um, auto publish or save, it'll auto publish to all three sites. So I want to add a video and I'm going to drag it here. Depending on the length of your video, it might take a few minutes to load. So I already did it in another tab so I could have this here, but see when you drag this, it'll say. Um, so I already did it in this tab because it did take like a minute or two and I didn't want you sitting around waiting. <laughs> and uh, once it's uploaded, it looks like this. You can add your description here. So hi all. That's where your description will go. Your hashtags, you can do a hashtag search for Instagram or TikTok, tag the location. And then to select your cover image, you're gonna select these three dots, select cover, and you're going to select the cover from the video itself. Look at that, perfect. <laughs> Love that one. If you are using this tool, it's best to have your text already on the video, even music already on the video. So this is like, you have your videos already edited, ready to post, ready to go. This is what you'll use to upload them to the platform that you want. Same thing with YouTube shorts. You can upload the video thumbnail. That way when you're on your channel, it'll have the proper thumbnail that you selected. And then down here is where you'll have the individual options for Instagram and YouTube. Um, something that I like here, you can see the feed view for Instagram. This is what it would look like in my feed. You have TikTok view. It gives you the instructions for auto posting to TikTok and YouTube view what it, YouTube shorts would look like. Here, you're going to go to Instagram presets Make sure it's selected show reel on feed and auto publishes on. And here is where you'll add your YouTube shorts title using the hashtag shorts in the title. If you don't use it in the title, make sure you use hashtag shorts in the description. But so that since this is going to multiple places, I don't want to do hashtag shorts in the description. So I'll do hashtag shorts in the title. And then I'm just going to say hashtag This is not what the video is about, but I'm just like plugging it in. And then we're going to select our date. So let's say I want to post this next Friday. Perfect. And you will save. It'll do the reminder for TikTok, except And now when I go to my month view, I prefer month view. It's going to show me that this video is already scheduled for me or it's pending schedule. I will say for Metricool, they do have this disclaimer. I don't know if it's a disclaimer, but it does say depending on the type of professional account that you have and the format you want to share on Instagram, the posting process will be different. So I believe if you have like a personal account, creator account, business account, the auto posting process is going to be different for everyone. So that's something that you'll have to test out, but yeah, Metricool is free anyway. So might as well give it a shot. Okay. And that is how you auto post your reels. Alrighty, everyone. I know that this was a quick video, but I knew y'all would probably freak out as much as I was freaking out when I heard that you could finally auto post your reels. So amazing. It's going to make repurposing your content so much easier, especially if you're somebody who uses a tool like Metricool. There's a lot of mixed ideas and mixed thoughts out there when it comes to auto publishing your content, especially when it comes to Instagram. And I'm going to tell you 
the pros and cons to auto posting content. When it comes to Instagram specifically, I'm not speaking for TikTok, for YouTube, but Instagram, when it comes to auto posting, it's not for everyone. I'm happy that they released this feature because for people who maybe are juggling a nine to five with their social media platform, or maybe some of my students in my course, they're nurses or they're doctors. So their schedule is all over the place and it might not be realistic for them to post consistently at their optimal peak time. But with this tool, they're now able to schedule posts that they wouldn't have been able to post without it. On the flip side, I don't think this is for creators who are already posting by themselves and they're able to post consistently. I tested auto posting for three months using Instagram Creator Studio, and with every post, my engagement was dropped. It was not good, not good. And that's because when you're using these tools to auto post for you and you're not there live engaging with your community, helping the post engagement boost up, the post is just gonna tank. And that's, that's not a guarantee. Maybe that's not everybody's experience. But from my experience, when I was using a tool to auto post on Instagram, my engagement did drop. When I auto posted to other platforms, my engagement didn't drop. So auto posting to YouTube, engagement doesn't drop. But for Instagram, for some reason, it doesn't really help with the engagement. So with that being said, use your best judgment when it comes to auto posting. If you can post live, post live. If you're not able to, this will be a great feature for you to use so that you can be consistent on social media. So there you have it. I know this video was a little bit shorter than usual videos, but I just wanted to hop on here, tell you guys about the cool new feature, the pros and cons of auto scheduling. And hopefully if you're somebody who's been waiting for this feature to exist, this helped you out. If you made it this far and you're not already subscribed to my channel, be sure to hug the subscribe button and turn on the bell notification so you don't miss when I post my next video and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching. Follow your joy. Bye.